Hello guys, I'm starting this video here because it's almost the afternoon, almost evening, but still have some light. So it's the sunset and today is a very beautiful day because we decided to go with Marwa and buy some trees, but special trees. All of them we bought uh, fruits to have in the house, which is amazing. We planted one here. This is actually blueberries. Uh, this doesn't grow like a huge tree. So Marwa wanted to put it right in the entrance of the house next to the ones I planted. And we have also a papaya over there. So now we have one there and we are planting more on that side. Actually, today we are a lot of people in the house. All the guys came and they joined the activity we have finding Ian here yes guys good evening finding My Ian planted a tree yeah today I planted a tree what, you guys missed what, are, what did you plant which uh, one it was I think avocado avocado yes oh god okay guys so I sunk it in the ground yes and uh, the next uh, same month this date yes i'll be back to plant. next year next year <laughs> yes. you will come to pick yes okay we have others there still planting yes yes i want to go and show them we are making a line but we still have more to put on the other side and everybody has planted we have ancomo this one was me <laughs> this one was me and this this is a fruit called white sabote i've never tried but everybody says it's the sweetest so i was the chosen one to plant this one <laughs> nasto hello what have yes. you planted yeah i planted a, a mango mango I also planted a Avocado. An avocado. Yeah, avocado. Yeah, fruits are okay. very good. Even in my place, I have like 10 of them. Your garden is looking beautiful. It's been a while since I don't go, but last time I saw, I saw it, yeah. it was looking yeah, very beautiful. Yeah, now very big. They are this size. Even they, outside. I really like they, what you have done outside of your house. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. So very, guys, very my name nice. is Nasto. Welcome to Rocio YouTube channel. Kindly guys yeah. support her. Subscribe. Let's get her to 50k. Yeah, so today I visited yes. uh, Villa Medellin. 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 You know yes. that name is very hard for me. <laughs> Maybe one day when I travel to Medellin. Medellin. To Colombia. Yeah, to Colombia. <laughs> Maybe it will now yeah, get yeah, inside. Yeah, it will me. integrate. Yeah, it. but uh, I really love also the the way you're taking care. I saw you planting the in the entry place. In the entry, yeah, yeah. It looks very beautiful. Yeah, and also this place I also love visiting because when I come here, at least I get some inspiration, yeah. like some new energy to okay. start again. That's and also nice. you know it's uh like the last 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 weeks of yes. you, you guys being in the village yes so it's good to catch up before you leave also wish you a safe journey when you travel back home. Yes. pass our greetings to yes. our amazing yes. family okay yeah, thank, thank you thank you nesto right. i will show them the trees here this is what we have done guys here we have one this is avocado we will have avocado Guys, avocados are very expensive everywhere. Not here in the village, not here, but the rest of the world. If we put America as an example, I think you don't even find an avocado for one dollar. You need to pay like two or three dollars just for one. So imagine, guys. Here, the villa is just abundant, abundant in avocados, abundant in avocados. We have a beautiful. No, wait, I'm confusing. I'm confusing. No, no, I'm good. This is this is mango. Mango. We have delicious mangoes. Another abundant fruit that we have in the village and there is, is um, specifically as a, as a plant, as a tree. Very, very abundant. Uh, in Puerto Escondido, in Mexico, where I was living, we had the mango season and the trees are in the streets and mangoes everywhere just falling. 
Even people has trees in their houses and they collect so, so many that they usually put like a bot in the street with a sign saying free mangoes for people. Imagine one tree can give like maybe like a thousand mangoes if I'm not wrong. So it's also very, very delicious. Here we have, which one was this? This is a uh, one that I'm not really sure if I ever tried. It has a, I, I just forgot the name of this one. I just forgot the name. I will ask, I will ask again. This one is the same one, if I'm not wrong. I think I never tried this one. So, we just planted, that's why there's a lot of uh, flights, they just came. Because the soil has been removed. We have here another mango. Mango, mango, mango here. As you see, guys. And all the boys were planting boys or guys or men. Uh, um, they have planted one each, like. Finding Ian, finding Ian, Mawira, hello baby, Uncle Mo, even me, I planted one. Uh, we also have coconuts to plant, so amazing. We have another one there, another one there, and yeah, very beautiful activity. We are growing life and in the future we'll be we'll be enjoying delicious fruits. So if you have a small space in your house, even small doesn't have to be very big, select select a fruit that it's common in your area and plant a tree. You won't regret it. You won't regret it. There's nothing more beautiful as having food growing in your own house and just waking up, going pick an apple and eat it or any other fruit. So let's see on the other side because we need to plant more. Also, we put another berry here, blueberry here. We want this area to be full of plants like jungle. Looks like the rain is coming. Many of these trees will be removed because also some of them, uh, there is one tree in special that it creates a lot of dirt in the house, in the area, in the compound. So that one will be removed. But yes, yeah, let's see what they are doing. They are planting oh, another tree. We need to replace a few trees that have been that got dried so we want to replace them we bought indigenous tree it's a native tree here it's actually that one that we have over there this one that is a indigenous tree and it's native from this lands so it's very very nice very important also to keep having the native in the place because also there's it has been there has been a lot of deforestation in particular with that tree that it used to be a lot of them before and now people plant other tribe types of trees uh, for different uses but that one is beautiful i love it I think they are planting one now. I think they are going with the indigenous. Let's see, maybe. I'm not sure. You see, guys, this one is dry. This other one also has dry, so we want to replace them. And here there was also another one that got dry. We are yes. Actually, one of our subscribers said, instead of planting trees in your compound, 
convert those trees to edible fruits. So yeah, now, me, I really wanted to have fruits on this side of the compound. Okay, so now, I'm very yeah, happy. Okay. And come on. What one here? <laughs> fruits, stomach. <laughs> Let me pass out. <laughs> and come on, the strongest man in the village. <laughs> You see them the way the chamber is. Yeah. Then carry this one here. You know this is special fruit. <laughs> and look all the trees that we have here. This is only Mawira. Hola Mawira. Yeah. Hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola, hola. <laughs> uh, only Mawira and we tend to rush again this time. Plant yeah. these trees. Okay. And, and fruits. Fruits, Some of them have never seen them. Yeah, no, me neither. But we know they are fruits. All of them. So you're just going to be coming out of your house with a plate and a knife and some yes, water. Like then a, just yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, totally. Guys, the rain is coming. So, okay, I just wanted to share this moment with you. And this video continues tomorrow. Because one of the fruits that we have planting here I think we actually we brought two trees of those. It's a very particular fruit that is called jackfruit. I tried it in Mexico called yaca and we have a big one. I will show you tomorrow and we will cook it tomorrow so I will see what I can do with it. Guys hello again. It's another day. Happy September for everybody. For me, September is a month that I really like because in Argentina, growing in Argentina, the spring is coming. It's the month where the spring starts. So the whole area gets very colorful with the flowers blooming. We start to have nice weather after the winter. We, we we have more sunny days and things like that so it's a it's a nice month and also i will be enjoying my last month in my 20s ah! oh my god i never knew that this moment was coming but it is next month october 6th it's my birthday and i'm turning 30, 30 young years, of course. I'm still a baby girl. <laughs> but yeah, another chapter, another chapter. So what am, I, what am I doing today? Guys, this is the famous jackfruit I mentioned uh, sometime before, like, oh! It weighs like a, I don't know how many kg, but maybe like 10 kg easily. Like a two or three kid, two or two years old kid, probably. So what I want to do is uh, to cut it. I will put it here so I can bring it outside easily. Cause carrying this, this is like pinchy, you know? I carry this for some meters and I hurt all my arms by holding like this. Something that I need is some oil because I saw, I've been searching and digging how, how it's supposed to be prepared. It will be my first time preparing this. I tried it first, but I tried I tried cooked already. I tried some delicious, delicious vegan, vegan uh, tacos. And also by taking more and more recipes to see what can I cook with this actually. And I discovered that it's well used in many places as a replacement of the meat. For the vegetarian people, vegan people that doesn't want to eat meat, this is a very good replacement. Like you can cook same recipes that you would use from burgers, tacos, uh, bolognese, 
sauce, I don't know, etc. Whatever that you would use meat, you can replace it with yaca. Yaca in Spanish or jackfruit in English. So let's see how it goes. I need to carry some oil because it has like a sticky juice inside that will make the knife very sticky. So let me go. Let me go with this. Let's see if I can carry it like that. Yeah. Yes, okay. We are going, but this thing is huge, 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 huge. Very heavy also. Yeah, this should be easily. More than 5K, for sure. Maybe at least eight. Eight inches, probably. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, you speak English? No? How's your feet? Padro. Oh, Ole. One of the guys got his his feet hurt, so I was asking him, but he doesn't speak Swahili. And uh, and my vocabulary still short, still short, but. Anyway, guys, let's see how this goes here with this. Okay, we've reached. There's Masubo, Masubo slash Gake. Yeah. Say hello, Masubo. Yeah, what's up, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Rock Cabrera Vlogs YouTube channel. My name is Gaki. Actually, just a good day over here at the villa. Yes. So, we're just trying to do some preparation for lunch. And our boss lady is going to do some preparation, guys. We can't, <laughs> we can't wait to test it. Let's yeah. see how it, this goes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when it comes to cooking, I don't promise too much. <laughs> I have another talent, but cooking. So it can be well, it can go wrong as well. <laughs> but okay, let's see how I manage this thing. Okay guys, here we are with a truck for it. <coughs> Oh my friend, chill out please, I'm filming. Something I'm not happy is to be next to the fire. Uh, not at all. Not at all. Maybe I will just move if these things disturb me so much um, honestly I don't know how people that's here <laughs> with the smoke I'm not happy with the smoke at all okay let's see if we can do this here if I'm able or if I need some help in hand hey shut up Okay, a ver. I need something. Yeah? No, it's just to put just a little bit to put on the knife. Or like I can even use it. So I will use this very very sharp because of Uncle Unguto help me with this. So I will put some oil on it like this. To avoid the stickiness. Ew. So annoying, the roaster. Okay. Okay, now we'll try to cook, to cut actually, 
needs to like this. It's very ripe, so it's it's not that hard. But can you see? Already has like some. Oh, now two of them. They are competing. They are competing. Can you see some like milky thing? That thing is very, very, very uh, sticky. That's why the. That's why the the oil works for this. Well, let's see this. Look what I got. This is one of the seeds. The seeds, I will put them in one bag. I brought three bowls like this, another one like this, and the big one to separate the parts. To separate the parts, so seed will go here. Let me put it on the other side guys this is how it looks Whoop. this is how it looks when you cut it so we have some seeds we have this you know that it looks like everas I would say in espanol this is what we will use as a meat replacement I still don't know what I'm gonna cook well I mean I kind of know, but it depends on how much I get. I will see how many portions I'm able to cook because as usually we have more and more people coming here for lunch. So I don't even know how many we are right now, but first I want to see what we get out of this. So what I have to do is to separate the seeds and this. A whole system here to do that's what I have seen but it's my first time doing using this route actually I tried it was very good uh, but I tried it in, in food cook already cooked I've heard that the seeds are very delicious like you can cook them also put it on the or toast them in the oven or something like that and they are very good and there is one part that you can also just eat like that like a fruit sometimes it has a smell like I would say some kind of pineapple smells this one we will see I want to try it but okay let me separate this do some process and I will show you what I'm doing. Guys, I changed the spot. Sorry, not sorry, but I cannot tolerate the, the smoke outside. My eyes start to hurt. So, all the funny thing, all the funny fact. It's I put a lot of, uh, I prepare the knife with, with oil and everything, but then I, I started to manipulate the fruit with my hands and I got like super glue I cannot even remove it, I've been trying I think, I don't know, I will try to put more maybe more oil in my hands to see if I can remove it and then I will put some gloves on actually the video I, I watched about how to cut this the lady was wearing gloves but I remember that later when my hands were already like super full 
of like a glue is very 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 sticky very hard to remove so I've still figured out how to really clean my hands now they are kind of blue because I even try with spirit to remove it but it's not working so well, let me see how I can finish the fruit by the way is like starting to have a smell that is it's quite, it's quite hard so yeah very special very special fruit very special fruit let's see how this goes it has worked I basically wash my hands with oil more oil and then I wash them properly so now I will use gloves it's really hard to remove let me just remove my my ring really hard to remove so now let me use this gloves yeah the lady I saw on the video I watch on YouTube <laughs> how to manipulate this fruit she was wearing she was wearing some gloves and yeah totally right totally right now and the smell the smell is like when a fruit has been out of the like of the fridge for many hours and it's getting like that's how it, it, it is i hope you understand what i'm trying to say but okay let's continue this look what i'm doing look how it look look how it looks like this like this what i'm doing is i'm basically i'm removing the seeds when you open it like this you can see it has a lot of seeds which i'm putting here and on the other side what is this I'll just remove this this you see it opens everything here all of these we will use it as but this yellow yellow part so I don't know maybe because this one is ripe I prefer it ripe because the one I saw she was mentioning this jackfruit it's not so ripe, so it was a little bit harder to manipulate, but they were removing like this part that it looks more like this, you know, like this. And she was having like the yellow, yellow. It was like separated. And she said, you know, for example, here, she said, these, my kids like to eat them just like this. I will try. Mm. yeah very sweet very sweet like um like what it has a very sweet mm. like a mango you know i even saw that is like a fruit that looks like seven fruits in one a pineapple, mango, uh, hmm. it's very good. It's like, yeah, pineapple with mango, with what else? It's good guys, once again, only time I tried it was cook in a taco, like salty food, not like a fruit like that, but it's very, very sweet. I'm just removing pieces. Mm. Very sweet. Let me know if you ever try this fruit. On the comments down below let me know how you use it how to cook it and all my friends from Jamaica from Jamaica I know you have this a lot I know you cook this fruit or you use this fruit 
a lot. So you must be one of the ones that knows about this and what I'm doing also the most. So let me know. Let me know on the comments below. And now I will just keep on doing this thing more. So guys, I was trying to understand how this works because in the video I watched there were three parts edible in these fruits but I was finding only two so now I got it now I got it so first it was the seed let me just move the, the camera but my hands are already very sticky with the even with the gloves here the seeds and what I was trying to understand here how to separate this hey, oh. so maybe you watch YouTube tutorial I was watch a YouTube tutorial yes we have got Matata here can you help me just, just okay. like do here okay let me because help Rocio <laughs> she's totally no, struggling I, no I, I was trying to understand I watched a video tutorial to mm -hmm. see how manipulated because mm -hmm. there is three edible parts in this fruit okay the seeds Oh, you can eat the seeds. You can eat the seeds, you can toast them, okay. and you can eat them. And also you want to plant some of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then there is two parts, you know. This part here, you can show them closer. This one that it looks like, how do you call this in English? Hmm. Uh, and it's smelly. It's very smelly. <laughs> yeah. It's very smelly. So this one is the one that you can we can cook and pretend like it's meat. But then we have inside where this one you see mm -hmm. is like surrounded by these ones mm -hmm. that we separate here and put them here. This will be cooked and pretend pretending like it's meat. We have the seed inside here, and then this is the other one, the other part that you can eat just like that. You want this one? Okay. It's very sweet. Mm. <laughs> Them. No, I didn't show them when I was soloing. Somebody may think I'm pretending. <laughs> well, I decided to open and show you. I'm actually enjoying it. I got my dad and open it's them. very sweet. Very sweet. Like like what? Sugar. Like it's sugary. Sugary. Very you sugary. You might think is chewing a sugar cane. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you turn off? Alright. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guys, I finish with the first half of the jackfruit. I got all of these seeds, all of this, this is like the sweetest part of the fruits, and all of this meat, let's call it meat. And I think it's very little for, to cook like for many people, so at some point I will have to do the other half which is here but hey it took me like two hours maybe <laughs> two hours but lunch is ready so now we will eat a different food because this is for tomorrow probably i will cook this okay let's eat